Hi friends, welcome to Live with Lynn. I'm so glad you came today to watch um, who my special guest is. You're not gonna believe it. Listen, we've been talking about heroes of the faith. We've been talking about some Bible characters, Moses and David, and today, I am talking to a child. She's in the first grade and she has a story to tell us. Her name is Ruby Bridges. Hi, Ruby. Hi. Glad you came today. Thank you for having me. Well, listen, the problem that we are talking about today is racism. Some of you may have heard about that. Um, racism happens when some people believe that their skin color is better than someone else's. Racism is what it's called. Sometimes some white people think that they are better than other people. It happened a long time ago. Some bad things were happening in our country and uh, some people wanted to change that. They wanted to change some bad things that were happening. There were schools where the black children couldn't go into the schools where the white children were and their schools weren't as good. So some people in Ruby State in Louisiana, right? What city? New Orleans. New Orleans. They decided they were going to follow the law. Some new laws had been made and those laws said that um, black children could go to the white schools. Well, come on, that sounded like a good thing, but it was not easy. Ruby's family had decided she was smart. She had taken some tests. She was ready to go and learn in a new school, but some things were happening outside of her school. Some people had come to uh, say what they thought. They were mean and angry. So some policemen had to come bring Ruby to school. Ruby, what was that like? Well, it was scary knowing that I had to have protection around people. That, And I was scared that they were all mean to me and some of them were threatening to take my life. Mm -hmm. And that was just scary, but I knew that God was with me the whole entire way. Wow. Ruby came from a family uh, who went to Church. to church together and Ruby had learned a lot about God and about prayer and what about your mom she was very supportive wasn't she yes what kinds of things did she say to you she said she said things like don't worry and don't be scared God's with you and for the first couple of days I'll be by your side yes because when Ruby went into that school she finally did get to meet her teacher how did you like her? She was really nice. Oh, good. Now, was she a black teacher or a white teacher? A white teacher. She was a white teacher. There was one white teacher who really wanted to teach Ruby and uh, love her and teach her that racism was not good. Her name what? Do you remember her name? Yes. What was it? Miss Haney. Yes. Well, um, she played a big part in that school, trying to get the other teachers to do the right thing. Um, did you have any children in your class? No, it was only me and my teacher. Wow, that must have been hard. Yeah, kind of lonely? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'm really thankful that Ruby had Mrs. Henry, and she tried to get the other children. She was kind of like a hero too. She tried to get the other teachers to make good decisions about teaching black and white children together. Now, I'll tell you, um, it was not an easy time in our country. A lot of things were going on, but Ruby Bridges and her family stood up for making this good decision of bringing children together in schools. Mrs. Henry was a big part of that too. And we are very thankful to Ruby and the things her family taught her about God. Uh, she knew she could trust God. She, I heard there was a time when you prayed for the people. Tell me about that. Um, well, I prayed for them. I told God to forgive them for what they were doing because they just, they just don't, they, they think different is a bad thing, but it's a good thing. Oh my gosh, Ruby, that is exactly right.
we know now that a class full of different children is just the right way to learn and grow and a world full of different people is the right way to learn and grow and love. Well, what are some things in a classroom, if everyone was different, that might happen? We might have uh, children who are have strength, creativity, <gasps> respect, balance, love, skills, community, knowledge, wisdom, laughter. Oh, I like that one. And help and ideas. Wow, that would be a, a great classroom, wouldn't it, friends? That would be a great world too, wouldn't it? A great nation if we could all share those things and we if, if we all accepted each other and our differences. My friends, um, I'm so glad that you joined me today, that you're remembering what we've learned in the scripture. In John 14, Jesus reminds us to love one another, not hate one another because of the color of your skin. Love everyone. The Old Testament reminds us that we were created in God's image. All of us were. Those are the things we want to take away today, and we want to thank you, Ruby Bridges, for joining me today on Live with Lynn. You're welcome. Let's have a prayer together. Dear God, you are great. You teach us about love and respect and accepting one another and kindness. And we are thankful to you. Thank you for Ruby Bridges and the things that she taught us by being so brave, by walking up to that school and knowing that you were with her and then having a good year in first grade. Thank you for the things she taught us. We lift up your name and we give you this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. See you next time on Live with Lynn.